Okay, so this is a quick video uh, that uh, shows how to change the start condition for a position task on a CMMO ST C51 LKP. And I'm using this drive, uh, the stepper drive on the Modbus. So here, field bus, and I have it on Modbus. I'm using FHPP standard plus FPC because I'm going to change uh, some of the parameters. So, uh, on this, the exact thing that I want to focus right now is this parameter here. So, by default, it's set to ignore. And over here in the dynamic help, and if you don't have this dynamic help enabled, you can enable it from here. So, if I close it, I can go to help and enable the dynamic help. And whenever you click on a on a window, it will pop uh, it will pop up that uh, that topic so on start on start condition i said that the default is to ignore so this says that the start command is ignored the current task is completed a new task can be can only be started once motion complete is active this is the default setting as i mentioned so now we have two options and the one that the customer mentioned that was interested in was uh interrupt the current task is interrupted immediately and then and the new task is executed directly. This means that if I start a positioning task, let's say to 50 millimeters and it's going right. And then when I am reaching 45, when I reach 45 millimeters, I send um, another task, but with different uh, with a different position. So instead of uh, 50, I, I send 90 and different velocity. So what's going to happen is that, as, as the name implies, it's going to interrupt the one that, that was executing and it's going to execute the new one to 90 with a new velocity. So that's one option. The other one is wait. And what this one does is that uh, it says here the current task is completed. The next task is uh, uh, next task activated by the start signal is started when the current task has ended. So what this one does is that it creates like a quay, like uh, it puts the second uh, pos uh, positioning task in line. So the the drive what it's gonna do is you started positioning task of uh, position one and when you send a second position, it's not gonna execute it right away. It's gonna wait for the motion complete from the posi uh, position in task number one. Once it sees the motion complete signal, then it's gonna execute the. It's gonna automatically execute the second position in task. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do this here. So, what I'm gonna do here. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to change this on the fly, this parameter. So right now I'm going to leave it to ignore. I'm going to download this change. All right. So I'm going to go into codices. And in codices, uh, I already have, basically what I have here is uh, the read, write, uh, control. And uh, as I mentioned, I do have FPC here. So I have uh, another set of bytes for inputs and outputs. Uh, you need to set this to true, um, FPC in and FPC out. And then I added another another block, which is this one, and I can delete it and I add it again if needed. So box, add a new block, and then this is called, um, this is under uh, parameterized, and this is called FPC P and U. So I select that one and then um, the name on this one is going to be zero because that's the one I already created. It's declared here. All right. So now I have to link this to my axis, whichever is the name that you have for your axis. Um, so this is linked to my same axis. Now these variables, you, you have to put them on your sequence or your program or whatever. Right now I'm going to emulate them using the visualization over here. So here in the visualization, I have the FHPP control block. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna add the FP, visualization FPC P and U, and then I'm gonna link this. I'm gonna link this guy to um, to my function block on my application, which is which was this one, right? All right. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and get online, 
And because I was doing some tests, I, I already have some values here, but I want to show you how it looks when you add it. This, this is, it's, this is be an example as if it was new, recently added. So here I have communication to my drive. I can enable it and I see the uh, feedback and I can, so for example, right now I send it to home, the homing sequence is executed. And then uh, we said that we want to change this parameter. So if you download this uh, cattle, uh, this uh, manual, which is the motor controllers, uh, you, you, you look for this part number on the support portal, and then you get this FHPP manual, uh, and you go to page, uh, starting, uh, I think, let's see. This uh, starts, I don't know, maybe, let me see. This is the description of all of the parameters that you can write. So each parameter has a number, right? P and U, and then there's a number for each parameter. Right now, I'm going to focus on uh, 583, start condition. So start condition means this parameter, start condition. So I have three options, ignore, interrupt and delay which they, they call it delay here but here it says wait so uh, this this wait means delay in this case um, so I'm gonna go back here and so I have that the, for the PNU 5A3 if I go back, back to codices that's the one that I want to change or in this case I want to read it first 5A3 with a sub, sub index of 1 sub index of 1 and then I then depending on what which value I get, that's the parameter that is set on an FCT. So right now uh, on FCT, I downloaded an ignore start condition. So I should get a value of zero here once I read on code this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this right on, on false and I'm gonna execute this. And I should see here 5831 and zero, right? because it's an ignore. So I'm going to execute this, 58310. I get my done uh, bit to true. So, all right. What I'm going to do now is I want to set it to interrupt. So I'm going to set it to one here, one. Now I make the right bit to true and I execute. Execute, done. All right. So now I read back again. Now it's set to one. And I can confirm this going to FCT here. And when I, what I can do is sync to see if there are any differences between the device and the project. And I should see a difference here. It says that the project, of course, the last change I did on the FCT on the project was ignore. But because of codices, I changed that parameter. Um, now it says interrupt. So here what I could do is upload, start synchronizing, and then it changes to interrupt. And I could do the same thing for uh, the three options here, ignore, delay, interrupt, depending on the on the value here, right? So let, let's test that uh, interrupt function right now. So right now I'm at a zero position and uh, I have an axis of 100 millimeters connected to my computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna execute a, a a movement, a slope movement to a position of uh, 80,000, uh, 80, which means uh, 80 millimeters because of the scaling. And uh, so I'm going to execute this task. And then right now it's uh, the parameter is set to the start condition is set to interrupt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this task. It's going to start moving slowly. And then uh, while it's moving, I'm going to change the velocity to 100 on 100 percent here and the position to i don't know 100 uh, 100 000, which will be the 100 millimeters so I, i'll start the, the uh, and you can see the you will see the actual position and actual velocity here so i will start the task oh sorry i need to set this to one which is the direct mode all right so we're on so start task it's moving I change this to 100 and this to uh, 90,000, for example, 
it's 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 moving very slowly it's still on 20 millimeters it's reaching 20 millimeters i'm gonna hit start task and it should interrupt that positioning task which is going slow and and reach the 90 millimeters quick there it goes so there what what that did it's it uh, interrupted the previous movement and um executed the the one with the the other velocity so that works i'm gonna bring it back to zero and then what i'm gonna do now is um i'm gonna now i'm gonna now change uh the um, the start condition to uh delay or to wait i prefer to interpret this as wait the current task is completed so now it's gonna wait for the motion complete signal and then it's gonna execute the the second position in task that i sent let's do that so if i go back to the manual i see that i need to set the value to two pnu 5a3 sub index one value two so i'm gonna go ahead and do that here value okay just want to make sure we're still on one one i'm gonna write a two here write execute all right read and we're good so now i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna do a uh, one percent on velocity i'm gonna execute fifty thousand here i'm gonna start to the task and then I'm gonna send a, a second position in task with a 90,000 volume position and 100% on velocity. So, first of all, start the task. It's moving. So, change this to 90,000, 100. Start task. And it, it gave me the acknowledge start because it acknowledged my second position in task, but it doesn't start it yet. It's gonna reach the fifty thousand that I uh, that I selected. Once it reaches the fifty thousand, it's gonna automatically go to the ninety thousand. There it goes. Reached the fifty thousand and automatically uh, started the the second position in task. So that's the way of uh, changing the start condition on the fly by using the the pn the fpc uh, pnu function block um and i think that that will be that will be it thank you